Memorial Day weekend is coming to an end, but it's important to remember the heroes who fought for our freedom all year long. The Detroit Fire Department held a Memorial Day march and service to honor the fallen. The march began on Ladder 6 on East Lafayette Boulevard and ended at the Mount Elliott Cemetery. Now, the city of Dearborn held its Memorial Day parade for the 98th year. The parade began with a military funeral procession. There was also a remembrance ceremony at the Dearborn Historical Museum. Tonight, 7 News Detroit reporter Faraz Javid was in e-course for their Memorial Day event honoring local veterans and fallen heroes. Here at John Dingle Park downriver, e-course Historical Society held its 8th annual Memorial Day celebration, right from honoring local veterans to the fallen heroes who made the ultimate sacrifice. This is a big event for us. Nikita White from the E-Course Historical Society says the best part of the ceremony was laying the wreath on the river to honor the fallen soldiers. We have our um, honor guard that lays our wreath and it goes across the water. For Nikita, this event is also personal. Where's your son right now? My son is, he's in the National Guard. Okay. This is his third year. My father passed away a few years ago, but my father was a vet as well. When you think about your dad, what's the one thing that always comes to your mind? His love and support for his family and for his country. When you look at your dad's pictures, you, you, it must bring back a lot of memories. Absolutely. Yeah. What's the one memory that you still hold to your heart? Our 2 a.m. phone calls and listening to Miles Davis in the background. I just remember his stories about the military and it was it was a frightening experience for him. And it, it, as it was for a lot of others, um, it caused a little PTSD, which we all know, and it's hard. That's why I got those 2 a.m. phone calls, because he didn't sleep at night. E-Course Mayor Lamar Tidwell also shared why this event is close to his heart. My father was a veteran. Oh, nice. Okay. Yes, my father was a veteran. I had a brother who was a veteran, too, also. Matter of fact, I had two brothers of veterans. While Mayor Tidwell's father and one of his veteran brothers have passed away, the mayor says their memories will always be honored. Oh, my father was a no-nonsense type of guy, and he instilled in us to uh, do the right thing, and uh, he led by example. Is there one quality that you've taken from your dad that you implement in your daily life? Discipline. That's the major thing that my father was, discipline making sure you take care of your family, make sure you do what you're supposed to do, make sure you be on time. As for the best way to mark Memorial Day? I think by providing the resources and information to the people in the community to let them know what it's about, because I don't think people really know what it's all about. What would you like people to know about Memorial Day, especially coming from someone who has family members in the military? Well, I just want them to celebrate the people that are here, the people that didn't make it home, and any vets that they know, be respectful to their neighbors, you know, celebrate their neighbors, celebrate your friends, celebrate your family members. Go visit those people because a lot of people don't have family members. In eCourse, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 News Detroit. All right, Faraz, a great reminder about the meaning of the day. Thank you.